Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to an episode of Legends. Don't forget about our free card pack giveaway. Uh, will be held tomorrow, so you have until then to subscribe and leave a comment. Tomorrow night, I will be randomly selecting one of you guys um, to benefit from the two card packs. And right now, we are into the ladder playing a mid-range veteran. Now, I was a bit skeptic about this deck, um, mostly because it has a lot of low-cost creatures and not so much rallying. But, all hope for the best, given the fact that um, there are so many low-cost creatures. Uh, by the way, this is uh, one of uh, Karakanzul's uh, decks from the Elder Scrolls Master series. I swapped a bit, toyed around with it and added uh, the Catapult from the Warrior deck. I thought it would be a very good addition. And uh, hopefully a change for the best. So much for our initial ramp. We're playing against the Tribunal. Now this deck has the potential to go right under control decks and um, sweep them off their feet. Ooh, even hot Oracle. Oh, that's not so good. A Red Run Forerunner. We also have Dawnbreaker. Now we could steal. Let's steal them. We stole the drain from the even hot Oracle, so now it won't be able to drain and gain double life. And right after that, I think I'll be heading up and destroyed right away using the veteran forerunner and dawnbreaker archmage silvani okay so it's going to get back with the drain attribute earthbone spinner mm. i don't want to sacrifice just now the Oculatus Agent, and I don't want to put Dawnbreaker on it. So I'm going with the Redoran Forerunner because it has that special, special ward that is very dear to me. And due to the fact that it has charge, charge plus Dawnbreaker, that's. Um, exactly the amount of damage we need to to bring it down so we will be draining instead for five plus two that's seven now we go for face let's hope no javelins or prophecies nope lucky us So as you can see, we already have a very strong presence on the board. We got four, we had five creatures cast into time. Okay, so we lost all of our red and four runners, but that's still okay. We can push damage over and over again. We can use the Earthbone Spinner. Uh, no, actually, I won't use the Earthbone Spinner. I want to get rid of that creature also, so I'll just use my Nord Firebrand Cleric of Kine and I'll boost that Spell Sword. Now it's really difficult for my uh, opponent, Christ1001, uh, to hit me with something like Ice Storm. 
Okay, I will lose probably two creatures, but uh, one has ward and one has four HP, so it would be a waste of a card. Let's go for some more face. And I'm keeping so of Revenge for the next turn in which I can actually play it into the Shadow Lane and have that lethal creature kill it. Nope, killed itself. Piercing Javelin. That would have been nice to be on my Sower of Revenge. Let's see, so we have four damage on the board. Having Mar Marauder, oh, that's excellent because we can boost something. Let's see what item we get. Dragon Plate Armor. So we've got six damage in the field lane and five damage on the shadow lane. Unless it can block both lanes successfully. Blood Sorceress. Just a rally. Knight of Nisus. Nothing relevant. So he's down to one Magicka, <clears throat> there's not much, he can summon, I've got 9 damage on the board, and yeah, let's turn that into a cake, because why not? And that's our first win! Welcome back for match 2, playing against House of Dagoth. Ooh, strong value there, but um, what the hell is that? Oh man, oh crap. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> okay, so I put this deck together. Uh, while I was riding the subway on my way home and I think I accidentally added a couple of unwanted cards. Oh, because Aerostorm and East March Crusader have almost the same card art. <laughs> oh boy, I think I should just Take a look at the deck. God knows what I else, uh, what else I I snapped in there. <laughs> well, I can say excellent initial four turns because our opponent, Delmoncia, um, has no board presence except for that Mundustone. Um. Hmm. Okay, so we cannot cannot use the Stormcloak Vanguard. So I guess that's where Arrow Storm comes into play. <laughs> and I think I have three copies of that. <laughs> okay, I'm going to switch them with the correct and proper. Oops, low battery. Correct and proper East March Crusader after this match. Brynjolf. Oh no, it has charge. Oh boy. Yeah, we don't have any support removals in this deck. Although I think a Dushnikol Archer would have been excellent. Um... Let's use the Vanguard. And let's take out Bleak Cost Troll. So whatever he finds uh, fit to summon into this highly contested field lane. Trial of a Scene. Oh, very nice. That's lethal. Um. 
Oh oh. Prophecy. Midnight Sack. And Lethal. So there's no way we could use the Bleak Astral. It does not matter because we are putting Sword of Revenge buffed with a Seal Scimitar. Why am I doing that? Because I want to protect uh, the other two creatures. He's got Lethal and uh, 7 HP, the Child of Essene. And uh, I was hoping it would just die. And now he's just going to clear my entire field lane. Nice play. Really, really nice play. He's down to 4 Magicka. Oh, and look at that HP. <laughs> That's just 1 HP. Oh boy, a uh, good thing it did not receive charge, but we have the Earthbone Spinner. So this uh, this veteran mid-range deck, uh, being one of Karakonzul's creations, it has the, um, how should I call it? It has that fleur, uh, something in French. Uh, that Karakonzul has, it inherited some of his traits, such as top decking. <laughs> now the Earthbone Spinner has successfully finished off that um, drain creature and now it's going to win us the match. <laughs> Such a short match. Oh boy. Short break, removed Arrow Storm from the deck. Correctly placed now is the East March Crusader. And we're down to our third game of the day, playing against another Tribunal. Morden Ken, Knen. So he's ranked 85, number 85 on Legends, and we've already uh, got some very interesting cards in our hand, including the Siege Catapult. Now we're going to use the Forerunner, get rid of that. So next turn we can just play. Oh, Indril Mastermind. Mm, oh, there goes the Tree Minder. Dragon Tail Savior. I'm so tempted. Either Rally X2 is the best. Let's see our opponent responds. As I was saying, slips right under the nose of control decks. Four Magicka, unable to um, cast into time and uh, or successfully javelin. Let's arm this Kingsman with in uh, Crusader's Assault. Get rid of that guard. Draw two cards. Or Clan Captain, Ebenhart Oracle. Okay, we're getting to the juicy parts. We've laid down the Siege Catapult. Now, I'm, I'm highly confident that his removal, as expected, would not focus on the Siege Catapult. Absolutely no removal touched the Siege Catapult. Now, this is an incredibly big mistake. Why? Oh, well, 8 damage to face, why? 3 more damage to face, why? Aren't there enough reasons? <laughs> so, <laughs> Ice Storm, okay. Ice Storm, oh, and the Catapult is disabled, but we've got 6 Magicka. <laughs> 
Unfortunately, we're going to use the Dragon Tail Savior. Catapult is ready for siege. Hitting face like crazy. Our opponent is down to 7 HP. It's only turn 7. Um, what else? Is there something else to do? Oh, yeah, it's just a good day to die. Woo! <laughs> So we pulled off quite some victories. We only need two more matches and we're gonna get uh, to Legends. That's exactly what I'm gonna do next. But in the meantime, let's, uh, let's take a look at the deck. <clears throat> so yeah, that's... Uh, Three clear, decisive victories, no doubt about it. And I'm strongly confident that our next matches are just gonna take us to Legends. This deck is so powerful. Uh, I've initially called it uh, Rallyo, but there's not much to, to, to be rallying about it. Uh, yeah, so we have the Undy Clan Sorcerer. Let's change this, uh, this deck to do justice. Yep, Chaos Mid Redoran. So we have Siege Catapult, Grizzly Gourmet, Crusader's Assault, only two Ash Berserker, Bricos Trolls. What the hell is that? <laughs> Holy shit, we have a bog lurcher. <laughs> I'm gonna remove this. I'm gonna put the proper deck list up with the video. Damn, I gotta pay more attention. 